guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Jana and in today's video I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on washing your hair when you have tape and extensions. So I'm going to wash my hair and then I'm going to come back and blow dry and style my hair so I'm going to show you how I do that too. So if this is your first time having tape and extensions and you're like can I wash this? How do I wash this? Uh, then you might find this video helpful so keep watching. <laughs> okay so tip number one is don't wash your hair extensions more than once a week. And I say your hair extensions not your hair I'll get into that in a second, but I feel like washing your hair extensions once a week prolongs the life of your hair, makes it look better and last longer in the long run. Washing it more often kind of dries it out and honestly it's kind of a hassle. So once a week is what I would recommend. Now I know what you might be thinking, girl, if I'm only washing my hair once a week, my roots are going to get really greasy. Don't worry. I have a tip for washing just your roots, which I'm going to mention in a second. But tip number two is invest in a good dry shampoo. It's honestly going to be your best friend. I recommend Batiste. There's a tropical scented one that smells like pineapples and coconuts, which is amazing. So this is what my hair looks like after one week of not washing it. It's looking a little crazy. There's so much dry shampoo buildup in here. It is not even funny. Like, look at that. Usually for the last three days or the last few days of the week, I'll style my hair in a braid, which is why it kind of looks a little wavy, just to keep it out of the way and so I can make it to wash day, which is today. So that leads me to my third tip. Tip number three is if you can't make it for the week and you need like a midweek refresher, this is what I'll do. I'll just section off the top of my head that's oily and gross and I need to wash it. So that's all my natural hair, so I'll just show you. Basically, it's like your leave out. So I'll just take the top section, which is all my hair, so that's the tape in, and I'll just um, tie that out of the way. I won't wash that. Just because I don't want to mess with the bonds, and the less you wash your hair, the more your bonds will last. You know what I mean? So I'll just section off the top of my natural hair, just like that, and I'll take a clip like this. I think I got a little bit of extension in there, but that's okay. So there we go. I'll just section off the top part and then I'll tie the extensions away. I don't have a hair elastic right now, but just pretend. Tie it away like in a bun and then just shower carefully. <laughs> so in the shower, I'll just take out the clip and go like this and then just shampoo and condition, tie it up, let the conditioner sit in there for a little bit and then rinse out the conditioner. And then when I come out, I'll just blow dry the top part. And then you'll feel so much better and you won't have to touch your hair. And it's just like a midweek refresher. You'll feel so good and your hair will look better. And then you're not messing up with the, your bonds or your extensions. That's because when you wash your hair, your hair gets heavier and it'll start to pull on the bonds, making them slip a little bit. And that goes, that's the same case with any kind of extensions. As soon as your hair is wet, it'll start to pull on the bonds, making your tape in slip, your fusion slip, your micro links, your sew in. As soon as that extra weight is there, it'll kind of weaken the bond, which we don't want, which is why we wash your hair extensions once a week, because the less you wash your hair, the less your bonds will slip, and the longer your hair will last, which is what we want. So that leads me to how I actually wash my hair in the shower. So washing your hair when you have tape and extensions or extensions in general is not that much different than washing your hair when you don't have them. You just have to be a bit more careful. So typically I'll go in the shower, wet my hair, Shampoo my roots and, you know, give it a good scrub because you probably have a lot of product buildup if you're not washing your hair more than once a week. So give it a good scrub and scrub between the bonds as well. Just don't, like, go crazy because then you're going to cause tangling and matting. So just be gentle and so wash your hair two, three times. And then what I'll do is, since my hair is going to be really heavy, you're going to feel it pulling on your bonds. I'll go like this and rest it on my shoulder and when it's wet, it'll stay there easier <laughs> and I'll put conditioner on the ends and then kind of leave it there to let the conditioner work and do its job for you know a few minutes wash up rinse out the conditioner and rinse it out really good make sure you do a really good rinse because especially between the bonds you don't want shampoo build up and stuff like that give it a good rinse and then you're done pretty much so as far as shampoos and conditioners go you want to pick products that are sulfate free and don't use a shampoo that's a volumizing shampoo because that's going to add lift to your roots and mess up with your bonds. And don't use one that's 
too moisturizing because that can cause your bonds like your tapes to slip as well so it's a little tricky to find a good one but make sure it's sulfate free um, maybe a clarifying one to get rid of the buildup and use a really good deep conditioner and only put it from like mid shaft down never ever ever put a conditioner on your bonds because that's gonna or like your tapes that's gonna cause them to slip I'm gonna try this one. I haven't tried this one yet, but I'm gonna give it a go right now. It's the Marc Anthony Macadamia Oil one, and then I have the matching deep conditioner, which I'm gonna put on the ends. So let's see how that goes. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I literally just got out of the shower, and what you wanna do is towel dry your hair. So what I do is just go like this and squeeze the excess water out so it's not like dripping. And you obviously never want to rub your hair with a towel that just causes breakage. Whether or not you have extensions, you don't want to be doing that. Especially if you have extensions, you're going to be matting up your hair. So just squeeze dry. And then what I do is take a little bit of this. I love this stuff. It's the John Frieda Frizzies uh, Thermal Protection Serum. Prevents frizz and breakage smooth split ends from the damage of high heat tools. I love this stuff. I'm almost done this bottle and this is like my third bottle. So I take um, maybe like two pumps, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> Oops. And then rub it in between my hands and run it through my hair. Just again, like mid shaft down. Focus more on the ends and just run that through. So this is gonna be my heat protection um, to protect me from the blow dryer. And then I take a wide tooth comb and then gently comb through my hair. And I forgot to mention that before you go and shampoo your hair that you should really brush it. Like, make sure that it's tangle free before you go and put water on it because otherwise it's going to be a nightmare. And it'll just make your life so much easier if you brush your hair before you shampoo it. So I'm just kind of starting at the bottom and then working my way up. So as soon as the bottom part is tangle free, you go up a little higher and work out the tangles and then make your way down again and then go back up and work out the tangles at the top until all your hair is tangle free. And I also like to hold my hair as I'm brushing it so that it's not pulling right from the tapes or the bonds at the top. It's pulling from where I'm holding my hair, if that makes sense. So you're never going to be yanking at your bonds or your tapes. So now that my hair is relatively tangle free, I'm just going to go through it with a blow dryer really quick. And you want to make sure your bonds are pretty dry, but don't put like direct heat on them. Just kind of, you'll see. So my hair is still pretty damp. I'm going to let it air dry a little bit longer before I go through it with a round brush and a blow dryer, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now that my hair is relatively dry-ish, um, it's still a little damp, I'm going to start the blow drying process. So blow drying it with a round brush is pretty much the same process whether or not you have hair extensions. You just section off and section off your hair and work section by section. So I'll show you how I do it. I usually start at the bottom and then work my way up. So I start by drying off the tapes first and then I'll work my way through the rest of the hair. looks like after I blow dried it and to finish off the look I'm just gonna run through it with a flat iron I'm gonna put a little bit more of this in my hair to protect it and that that also acts as like um, kind of like a shine serum which is kind of nice so just put that on the ends and it smells good <laughs> 
and then I'm going to brush it through. And I like that product because it leaves my hair silky, not sticky. I feel like some heat protectants leave your hair kind of sticky and then chun chunky. I don't like it. Guys, I forgot my normal size flat iron, so I have to use this dinky travel size one. We'll make do. <laughs> It'll work just fine. So I'm just going to take sections and run my flat iron through it. So this is the final look of my hair being clean. It's so nice. So that pretty much wraps up my video. I hope you found it helpful if you were looking for advice on how to wash or style your hair with tape and extensions. If you have any questions at all, please comment below and I'll reply to your comments. And yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like my video. See you guys later. Bye. Mwah.